Welcome back to Mayo Clinic Radio. I'm Dr. Jake Strand. And I'm Tracy McRae. A recent study by Mayo Clinic researchers published in The Lancet found a prescription medication used to treat type 2 diabetes and obesity is also effective weight loss therapy. Liraglutide injections were shown to slow stomach emptying, and that helped study participants achieve greater weight loss than those getting the same behavior modifications but without the drug. Slowed the stomach emptying. I'm interested in that, Dr. Strand. <laughs> I'm just saying it might, it might help. Oh, no, yes, I'm just I saying did. it might help as we're going into the holidays. It might help this tremendously. Researchers hope studying the unique responses of patients will lead to more effective individualized obesity treatments. Here to discuss the study is Mayo Clinic gastroenterologist Dr. Michael Kimmel. Dr. Michael Camilleri. Dr. Camilleri is also Executive Dean of Development at Mayo Clinic. Welcome back to the program, Dr. Camilleri. It's good to see you. Thank you. It's great to be back. It doesn't seem like that's a, a possibility, but there's a drug that can slow your stomach emptying. Is that a, And that's a good thing? Sure. So what we know is that feeling full after a meal is partly related to how fast or how slow our stomachs empty. And I think most people realize that if they take a big meal and it sits in their stomach for a long time, they feel full for a longer period of time. And so we've done some research um, on, uh, in the past decade on about 500 people and demonstrated that if the patients are obese or overweight, one of the things that happens is that the stomach empties too fast in those patients. So they don't feel full after they eat. And that was really one of the main reasons why we became interested to study this type of medication. Do we know why that happens? We don't know exactly why that happens. Um, one of the possibilities is that there are hormones produced by the intestine when food reaches the lower parts of the intestine. And those hormones usually do two things. They shut off appetite or they slow down the stomach. So we have some evidence, in fact, from that study of about 500 people, that a group of patients have low blood levels of those types of hormones that are produced in the intestine that usually provide a signal to stop eating and also to stop the emptying of food from the stomach. So is that where, is that where lir liraglutide will fit in here then? So liraglutide, in some respects, would do... Um, something like one of those hormones. So liraglutide is um, a GLP-1 receptor agonist. And one of the hormones produced by the intestine is GLP-1. And as I said before, GLP-1 slows down the stomach and reduces appetite. So we thought, would it be an interesting idea to see whether we could use this medication which incidentally is approved and marketed for the treatment of obesity, to try to find out how does it work? How does it go about the business of helping patients lose weight and reduce their calorie intake? And what we found was that liraglutide, by working on that same type of receptor called the GLP-1 receptor, slows down stomach emptying increases the feeling of fullness after eating. So in the laboratory, we can feed patients at a constant rate, and we can tell when they can drink no more of Ensure, which is a nutrient drink. So those were the two signals that changed with liraglutide. One was a very dramatic slowing of stomach emptying, and the second, the amount of uh, Ensure that patients could drink in the laboratory test at a constant rate was reduced. And so those two factors were associated with a much greater degree of weight loss on liraglutide compared to the placebo, the control treatment. I kind of feel like I need the opposite of this. I need uh, an injection that will make me feel fuller faster so that I don't eat so much because all of a sudden I'll just be eating my Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> and realize, oh my gosh, I should have stopped eating five minutes ago. Is there a drug that can do the opposite? Well, in some ways, this drug um, could also do the opposite by making you feel full sooner. Hmm. There are other medications and that are essentially uh, developed from those same hormones that are the natural products produced by the intestine that are being tested to see 
can we reduce the effects of appetite-promoting medications, like uh, a hormone called ghrelin? Or can we uh, mimic the effect of another uh, hormone that's produced in the intestine called peptide YY? But that's not yet proven. Um, what we thought was interesting here is that we now have a, a clearer idea of how slowing the emptying of the stomach is proportional to the amount of weight loss that the patient achieves. And so how do we put this into context of really all the possible choices for patients who are overweight or obese and are trying to lose weight and, and fit that in with also with diet and exercise? That's a great question. I mean, the, the, the first point of all weight management programs has to be lifestyle intervention, as you said, diet and exercise. And a sensible diet is something that um, is either available through commercial or through nutritional or dietetic um, interventions. There are other medications that are approved uh, and marketed that come in the form of, of tablets, and we don't have time to go into how each one of those works. But certainly, this medication, liraglutide, is also approved for the treatment of diabetes. So if patients have pre-diabetes or they have type 2 diabetes, perhaps this would be the medication for them. We also feel that our data suggests that um, we might use the stomach emptying response, um, let's say after one or two months, to decide who would be a good candidate to continue this treatment. So we're trying to individualize the choice of medications to be used in patients with obesity. But just to reiterate, the first principle is lifestyle intervention. And how many, you said there were 500 people in this study? No, the, the previous study was 500 people. This clinical trial was only 40 people. Okay, and so then how did the people that were on liraglutide do versus those that were on the control? So the first and most important thing is, is the weight loss. So the average weight loss in the patients who were on liraglutide was about 11 pounds in, um, in three months of treatment. In contrast, patients who received an injection of, of saline, which was the mm -hmm. control, um, on average lost about, um, I think, three or four pounds. Interestingly, because we put patients through lifestyle intervention and careful nutritional support and, and coaching, we had one patient who it turns out had received placebo who lost 26 pounds of weight. Wow. Which really reiterates the importance of doing randomized controlled trials. Right. And so do you see this as a big part of the future, uh, battling obesity? I think that approaches such as this, uh, which um, inform us how best to individualize treatment, um, is a principle that we would like to pursue. And I also believe that uh, by understanding the, the mechanism of action of these different medications, we may be able to select how how to choose select how to choose uh, select the best uh, treatments for the individual patient. Great. Yeah, that's good. We've been talking with gastroenterologist Dr. Michael Camilleri about a recent Mayo Clinic study which may hold promise for individualized obesity treatment. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Cam Dr. Camilleri. Thank you.